Doc here with another physics tutorial, a review of decimals. Remember the advantage of not using a calculator in our course is that I am forced to keep the questions very simple mathematically and I can give you multiple choice exams. If you were using a calculator I would then very easily get carried away with intricate questions and I would feel obligated to give you a fill-in-the-blank exam. But with this deal, if we're going to master some basic quantitative ideas and keep the physics transparent, it's better all around. So let's review some of the basic decimals that are needed to understand things in our course. We start with the first one being the easiest, one half. So think of this as a review of fractions and decimals. The simplest fraction is one half and the decimal is 0 0.50. Think of that as a half a dollar, 50 cents. And if you want a percent, just move the decimal point over two places and it's 50 percent. Now let's go to the next one, which is related to one half, the fourth. If we break the one half in half, we get a quarter. A half a 50 cent piece is a quarter. Then notice that two quarters is 50 cents. It's kind of redundant. We know two fourths already is one half. We say we reduce the fraction. Two fourths becomes one half. And three quarters, 75 cents. So the half is the easiest, and I think the quarter is next in line. Then we can look at the eighth, which is breaking the one quarter in half. If you break a quarter in half, you have 12 and a half cents. And you'd write 12 and a half cents if there were such a thing as 0.125. That's one eighth. Notice that two eighths is covered already. It's your one fourth. Three eighths can be obtained easily by tacking your 12 and a half cents on your quarter, which gives you 37 and a half cents. Four eighths, we already know, is the one half. It reduces. And five eighths can be obtained easily by tacking on your 12 and a half cents to your 50 cent piece to get 62 and a half cents. Six eighths is already covered because if we reduce it, we get three fourths. It's the quarter, uh, three quarters rather. And if we uh, go for the seven eighths, we can add the 12 and a half cents to the 75 cents and get 87 and a half cents. Very, very nice, elegant way of looking at these decimals and fractions. Next, Let's consider one third. One third of a dollar is 33 and a third cents, or you might say 33 uh, with the threes going on and on, 0 0.33333333. That basically is saying 33 and a third cents. Uh, percentage wise, that would be like 33 and a third percent. So the, the little dots here just means it's going on forever. 33333. If you want to round it off, you would say 0 0.33. Two thirds is 0.66666, just doubling the threes. If you wanted to round this off, you'd say 0.67. So if you got two-thirds of the questions right on the exam, you should get a 67, which is not a good grade. Next, we can break the one-third in half, half, so we have one-sixth. And one-sixth of 33 is like 16 cents or close to 16 cents it turns out it's 0.166666666 forever so if you wanted to round that off you'd say 0.167 or 0.17 you could round it off to 17 cents but we'll leave 0.166 and then the two six which is one third is already covered three six is one half already covered Four six is two thirds already covered, and the five six is this is a little tricky. If you come back from the uh, one and subtract point one six six six, you get point eight three three three. So this is the counterpart. If you add these two together, you basically here would have you know all these sixes and threes would give you nines, and eight and the one would give you a nine. So you have like point nine nine nine, which is basically one. If you add those two together, one six and five six, you would get one. One fifth is easy. One fifth of a dollar is twenty cents. Two fifths of a dollar is forty cents. Three fifths of a dollar is sixty cents. And four fifths of a dollar is eighty cents. One tenth, very easy. One tenth of a dollar is a dime. 
Two tenths is already covered. One fifth, I didn't write it down here, 20 cents. Three tenths would be 30 cents. Four tenths would be next, two fifths, 40 cents. Five tenths is a half, 50 cents. Six tenths is already covered. It reduces to three fifths. Six over 10 reduces to three over five. And seven tenths, 70 cents. Eight tenths reduces to four fifths, eight tenths, 80 cents on the dollar, and then 9 tenths, 0.9. The uh, next one is a rare one, 1 seven. Don't really encounter that one very often. It's 0.14, and some weird numbers keep going on to the right there, uh, but we can round it off to 14 cents. 1 ninth is very, very easy. 1 ninth is 0 0.11111. One ninth of a dollar is about 11 cents. Because see, nine times 11 is 99 cents, so it's close. 0 0.111, and two ninths, 0 0.222, three ninths, 0 0.333, four ninths, 0 0.444, five ninths, 0 0.555, six ninths, 0 0.666, seven ninths, 0 0.777, eight ninths, 0 0.888, and nine ninths, of course, would be one. So I hope this uh, helps uh, you understand a little bit better uh, decimals and fractions. And at the same time, we're doing percents because if you take the decimal point and move it over two, you have 50% for a half, 60% for three fifths, 80% for four fifths. Four fifths of an exam is 80, which is now getting to be a good grade. And of course, nine out of 10 correct is 90%, a 90, an even better grade. Doc signing off for now. I hope you enjoy the review.